Your car's brakes are perhaps its most important parts. They have the job of preventing you from impacting trees, small children, and all manner of wildlife. Without them, well, you're not up a creek, you're in it. But do you know what type of brakes you have? Most cars today come with disc brakes, but most older automobiles, as well as those in the bargain bin, still come with something called drum brakes. To better understand this highly important part, we are going to answer what drum brakes are, how they work, and if they're inherently good or bad. Before we proceed would like to take the opportunity to ask you to join our growing community. Kindly subscribe to our channel and then click the bell icon to be notified of our upcoming videos, and now let's continue. What are drum brakes? Drum brakes are a type of braking system that has fallen out of favor in the automotive world due to their complexity and performance. Older cars, as well as a small handful of more affordable rides, still use drum brakes, though they're becoming scarcer. Rather than rotors and pads, they use drums and shoes. What's the difference between drum brakes and disc brakes? Here's our quick and dirty explanation. Drum brakes use internal friction, created by the shoes pressing against the drum, to stop a car. Disc brakes use an external caliper to create friction through a set of brake pads clamping onto a brake rotor. Reduced even further, drum brakes use internal friction, disc brakes use external friction. How do drum brakes work? Drum brakes are fairly easy mechanisms to understand. When the driver presses the brake pedal, the hydraulic pressure of the brake fluid actuates a drum brake's shoe lining, which is embedded within the drum cylinder and presses outward into the drum. The resulting friction between the shoe lining and the drum stops the car. What are the types of drum brakes? There isn't actually one type of drum brake design, there are a few. Here's an explanation of those designs. Duo servo. Once the first shoe is pressed into the drum, duo servo drum brakes use centrifugal force to press the secondary shoe into the drum to further halt the car's momentum. Leading trailing. A leading trailing drum brake is one where there are two types of shoes, one leading, one trailing. The leading shoe rotates in the direction of the drum, while the trailing shoe pulls away from the drum surface. Twin leading, twin leading drum brakes have two leading shoes that apply friction to the drum. Very little braking pressure is needed for these to be effective, though it requires a very powerful spring to pull the shoes away from the drum. Thanks for watching this video. We think this video helps you a lot. To get our next video tips to subscribe to our channel.